must come Come Take me home Jesus, come, come, take me home, come, Jesus, come, come, take me
so as you ponder upon the words that the Lord have sent as you think about your life and where you will spend eternity I want you to also consider the fact that you cannot make yourself live another day or even another hour because if your appointment with death is near is at the door it is an appointment that you will have to keep you cannot put it back for another week another year not even another second you will have to keep that appointment whether you want to or not whether you like to or not so consider the fact that tomorrow is not promised to you so don't delay and say yes I've heard yes I believe but not now maybe tomorrow maybe next week tomorrow may never come for you maybe you will not wake up in the morning as you go to sleep tonight mind you you don't have to be sick to die and you hear of countless amount of people around the world that are in perfect health and they just drop down where they are and die it can happen to anyone once it's your time it is your time if you are living a life that is not of God and you are walking in the will of the enemy he will be looking at every opportunity to take you out to guarantee your place in hell so think carefully about what choice you should make now and yes indeed you do have a choice and that choice is yours you cannot be forced either way the choice is yours God has given us that opportunity to choose for ourselves where we will end up he himself will not force himself on us he will not force us to go either way the devil he cannot force you into hell either if you end up there it is by your choice is what you choose to do even the choice that you make today as you listen to this program whether live or via YouTube that choice could determine whether you go to heaven or to hell whether you live in a mansion walk on streets of gold you have everything to your disposal you do not have to pay rent you don't have to buy nothing you don't have to worry about a single thing or you can go to hell and be tormented for all eternity and be burnt in a lake of fire for all eternity those are your two choices which one will you make And the Lord, as I said before, has given us 100% authority over our choices. So wherever you end up, it's by your choice. So today, I want you to choose wisely. Choose for God choose for the one who loves you choose for the one who cares for you choose for the one who created you in his own likeness choose 
for the everlasting God, Jehovah God. For he loves us so much, he loved you so much that he sent his only begotten son. That whosoever, whosoever, anybody, should you believe in him, you will inherit eternal life. Eternal life with him in heaven. His son, Jesus Christ, who came and lived on this world as a man, was subjected to all that we go through on a daily basis, yet without sin. He came and he died. Why? For you and for me. He gave up, he freely and willingly gave up his life for you so that you can have this eternal life that we're talking about. So that you can go to this heaven that we're talking about. So that you cannot end up in hell that we're talking about. Jesus, he did this for you. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter how much money you have doesn't matter what race you are what color you are what background you come from what you have done doesn't matter if you are the worst sinner ever lived this gift is being extended to you and all you have to do is just to receive it just to receive it that's all just to receive it and you will have it so I want to extend this free gift to you today the Bible tells us that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved that means you you who are listening no one is exempted from this special offer today. If you want to be saved, today is a day. This is a perfect opportunity and it may very well be your last opportunity. So don't turn a deaf ear today. As you hear the Spirit of the Lord speak into your heart, do not harden it, but take heed. Respond and accept I tell you it will be the very best decision that you have ever made or, or will ever make in your life to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in your life there is nothing better there is nothing sweeter all you just need to do is to try it and you'll see for yourself don't take my word for it try it and see for yourself Today is a day for your salvation. If you're listening and you want to be saved, you know that the Lord is calling you. You know that the Lord is speaking to you today. Harden not your heart, but give in to him today. If you want to do this and you don't know how, I'm going to say a prayer that you can repeat after me. And all you have to do, all I ask of you, all the Lord asks of you, is for you to believe. For we walk by faith and not by sight. It's not about feelings. It's not about what we see or hear or anything like that. It's about what we know. From what, the God, from what the word of God says and it says clearly and quite plainly that if you call upon him and you repent of your sins that he will give you his salvation you will receive forgiveness of your sins if you ask for it that's all so as we ask for that today just believe that at the end of it you will have received 
your free gift of salvation and you will be saved instantaneously without hesitation as I said don't wait for no feeling you may not get no feeling it's not about any feeling it's about knowing and once you know that you're saved then you are saved so wherever you are just lips lift up your your hearts up to heaven and sincerely repeat these words after me say Lord Jesus Son of the true and living God you said in your word that if I confess my sins that you will forgive me of them I know that I am a sinner so please please forgive me of all of my sins cleanse me from all my unrighteousness please wash me with your blood and remove every spot and every stain fill me with your Holy Spirit to guide me along the way please let my name be written in the book of life as of this very moment as you come into my heart to stay thank you Jesus for answering my prayer by faith I believe that I am saved so thank you for saving me Amen. Hallelujah. You are now a child of God. If you have said that prayer, you are now saved and you are now heaven bound. You have, you have been snatched from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. I want you to stay on that path don't move away for anything or for anybody as I said before you now have authority in your hands over the enemy himself he cannot snatch anything away from you he cannot steal it away from you anymore without your permission he can do nothing don't allow him to fool you don't allow him to deceive you Stay close to God and you will be protected. Don't move away from Him. Stay out of the world. Stay back from the world and the things of the world. Find the Lord in a secret place. If you don't have a Bible, get one. Talk to Him. Establish a communication between you and Him at all times. Build yourself up in the Lord through reading your Bible, studying, meditating, and in prayer. Do this faithfully and you see what the Lord will do for you. Again, I want to just congratulate you from the step that you have just taken. Congratulations once more. The Watchman The Watchman, the Watchman. The Watchman. My time has gone. Again, I want to thank you for tuning in to the Watchman Radio Program. I was your host, Minister Curtis Roach from Shiloh Re Revival Tamanaco. Just want to quickly extend an invitation to you if you are in London or planning a trip to London at uh, any time. If you want to find a church to worship where you will receive the unadulterated word of God at all times, you can find us on the Park View at Park View School on West Green Road in London. The postcode to get there is N15 
3 qr and we are there every sunday from 12 p.m to 3 p.m would like to contact me for any further information you can do so by finding me on facebook by searching for my name minister curtis roach alternatively you can also search for the watchman radio program that's my page for this program you can leave me a message on any one of these two profiles and i'll be able to respond to you should the lord tarry i'll be back here next week friday from the same time which is 4 p.m to 5 p.m so until then, should the Lord tarry, I'll see you. God wish you bless you. Come. Jesus, come.